I printed a GoPro mount in PLA and it doesn't hold up to a crash. So I printed it using Nin so I printed it using Ninja Flex and hopefully I mean it feels great. It feels really flexible and you know maybe it will even remove some of the vibrations. I also have a bit more uh, tough TPU Ninja Flex type of filament on here right now on the GoPro mount and hopefully that will hold up even better. It's a bit more tough than the Ninja Flex. I'm afraid this will be a little bit too uh, floppy. But today we are testing 3D printed propellers. I just printed a couple. These are freshly baked. I just. Uh, th These are freshly baked. I just removed some support material and uh, yeah, I'll probably have to clean these up. And this is what they look like they are 5x4s, three bladed propellers, and I'm gonna use them on my drone racing drone and I was really intrigued by the subject of a 3d printed propeller and uh, let's see how well they hold up and uh, if they even work and see if they even hold up to a crash with the drone racer it's also 3d printed so we are adding even more 3d prints to a already fully 3d printed drone which is kind of cool and in, case you, and in case you missed it we have the silver play button okay I gotta show you guys something this one just arrived in the mail this Friday Thank you so much. Do you remember what this place looked like just one month ago? Dude, winter in Sweden is late this year. So I will be using the exact same drone as last time. I haven't changed anything. It's still the same motor, same ECs, nothing, nothing changed. I still have the funky looking props on. And th this is the only thing we will be experimenting with. This is PETG and this is PLA. So I will be changing them up and see if, if they even will be strong enough to, to even sustain flight. That, that's my real... That's my real concern. I designed them in uh, Fusion 360. I'm gonna link the video down below. It was a guide, a really good guide of how to make propellers in Fusion. And I have to say, they, they look clean enough to where I, it, it doesn't look like they shouldn't work. I actually printed a whole bag of them because it doesn't take very long time and they are super easy to print with uh, supports on the CR10. And uh, yeah, I think they turned out really nice. Okay, but first I want to see how it flies with non 3D printed propellers just to get a benchmark. Do we have video? No, we do not. Oh shit. Video is completely dead. Why doesn't it work? Okay, it's not actually the exact same system. I did change the video transmitter to a 200 milliwatt and uh, the camera that came with it. The thing is that the onboard camera that is connected to the video transmitter only works on 12 volts. 
not 15. Right, this is day two of the 3D printed propellers and I made the rookiest of mistakes of connecting the video transmitter to the 5 volt pads of the, uh, on the PDB instead of just straight to the power source which, which apparently doesn't work and I covered all these terms a lot more in detail in my previous video but I have a strong signal now and uh, a good image and a good video image uh, actually a lot better than last time and that's just it just makes it so much easier going through the trees but let's just pop this up in the air with the original propellers, a four cell battery, just so we have a benchmark so we can compare the 3D printed propellers, you know, so we have something to compare it to. You can probably tell by just looking at it that the propellers are well balanced. You can see the, the entire quadcopter is really stable. But more than that, you can listen to the noise and you can hear that it's, it's very clean. It's not a whole lot of wasted energy, which is great. So let's pop down the goggles and let's begin the flight. Okay, I probably shouldn't stand here. I might crash into myself. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that you can probably tell by the GoPro footage uh, that the propellers are really well balanced. There shouldn't be a lot of like yellow or well, yellow or like vibrations or clear vibrations in the video. So a quadcopter actually has two different type of propellers. You, you would think every single motor and propeller would spin the same way, but actually they are spinning opposite ways. So this motor is actually spinning this way and this motor is actually spinning this way. So you can see the leading edge of this propeller is on the right side, you know, from this point of view, while the leading edge of this propeller is actually on the left side. So if you want to print these propellers, just go into Simplify 3D or whatever slicing software you use and uh, import four and select two of them and reverse them on the Y axis. Okay, so it's very easy to do in Simplify 3D. I don't know if you can do that in Cura though. I, I mean, I would imagine you could, but I'm not actually 100% sure. All right, a fully 3D printed drone with 3D printed propellers. Will it work? Will it fly? Will it crash? Most likely, let's do it. Holy, did I catch that? Oh my gosh. Three out of four propellers just absolutely shattered. Oh man, I don't know what happened. I I guess I have to put the blame on something. So I'm gonna say that I have to try and keep it in frame. I, I'm, I, I really haven't flown that much, okay? Absolutely humiliating. That propeller goes there and that propeller goes there, but neither of these propellers fit on this. So I'm just gonna steal one of those. There we go. No, no one is gonna notice that propeller. It's still 3D printed. You can probably tell by just listening to it, it's way noisier. And all that noise is just wasted energy if you think about it that way. But it does fly and I can't say if it's less stable. It feels really stable to me actually, but you can probably tell in the GoPro footage that it's uh, way more vibrations, which obviously is not good. 
and probably looks terrible too. Okay, time for FPV. Let's see if we can tell the difference. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could feel like a significant loss in power. We'll see about that. Wow, there's so much vibration. I mean, it, it, it's flyable, but it is just so much vibrations in my camera at least. I don't know how it is in the GoPro, but I can imagine it's way more vibrations. But I mean, it is flyable. I'm not gonna say anything else. I mean, you can definitely fly with 3D printed propellers, which is really cool. But it makes it way more, but the vibrations, whoa. What did I hit? I couldn't, what did I hit? I couldn't even tell there was something there. I almost forgot to bring you guys. So apart from the vibrations, they, they actually work. You can fly with 3D printed propellers, which is, to me, it's really, it's really cool. It will be really interesting to see how many propellers survived, if any. Oh, thank God, I finally found it. I, I mean, I've been searching for a good five minutes. Okay, here we go. 3D printed propellers. Actually, all, all four of them, all four of them shattered. Ah, oh, the drone is going crazy. Oh, well, that's kind of depressing because that tells us that the PLA and PTG is just not strong enough or poorly designed by me to sustain, well, sustain flight they can, but they're not gonna handle any crashes. Well, I don't think I've actually ever destroyed all four propellers in one crash. And I mean, it was actually not a hard crash at all. And it landed, you know, pretty soft. So, so I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Oh, the GoPro is still recording as well. I'm actually kind of surprised that it flew at all. So let's try them out. So let's try a full set of PTG and uh, let's try this again. Who knows, maybe PTG works even better. All right, there we go. A full set of PTG propellers. Let's see if they are more or less balanced than the PLA. battery completely dead that was so much fun but the battery is completely dead right now okay where okay where do we stand on 3d printed propellers well you know so in terms of just pure power loss i would say it was maybe like 25 percent less power with the propellers i've made versus uh these propellers which you know it's kind of questionable from the beginning but looking at the big picture, the, the, the wow factor of actually having 3D printed propellers, I'm very interested to see how far we can push this, you know, having a 3D printed drone as well as 3D printed propellers. The reason I didn't balance the propellers from the beginning because I, I kind of knew they would be out of whack and I can see a lot of you asking this in the comments. Taking a look at just the three latest crashes I had, we had a broken propeller count of what, maybe like eight, nine propellers and balancing all those propellers would I mean, you, you break propellers like, uh, yeah, something you, you break a lot of. My point is, yes, you could and you would probably get rid of all the vibrations. The question is, would it be worth it? Okay, I just noticed that my hair looks like... Okay, so the verdict for 3D printed propellers, I would say, uh, you know, semi-successful. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy watching this episode and uh, please if you have one second over just click that thumbs up button it helps me out so uh, I would be very I would appreciate it very much. So have an awesome day. Bye.